Okay, so let's take a look inside the finished extension. And here we are. Um, so as we enter into the, the door here, you see immediately on the left hand side we've got a nice large island uh, in the centre of the room with a nice granite uh, worktop here and stainless steel sinks in the middle of the island there and then on the right hand side here we have got the kitchen area of course we've got uh, Velux light in the roof up there and the bifold doors with the apex and um, let me just uh, turn this round a little bit to show you what the kitchen actually looks like from this side so there you go, kitchen uh, running right down the left there and island in the middle and then to the right of that we've got a dining area and then of course we've got uh, some seating, a little sofa and, and rug here so that we can sit down and enjoy the garden when it's actually finished that is uh, so you'll notice that we've still got patios to be laid um, we're still sort of working on the design of that um, but the interior is now completely finished except for some pictures and and a few bits and bobs that will need to go onto the wall um, we've got glass doors here in between uh, the lounge area and uh, the uh, diner kitchen and those match in with the other internal doors that we've put in everywhere which are these sort of white grooved country style um, doors. Um, we've also made some changes to the lounge and I know the lounge really wasn't part of what we looked at before but we've put in a new um, fireplace into the lounge uh, because the old one had to be removed and um, we uh, we've just you know redecorated and everything in here new carpets etc that we really had to do just to finish off the downstairs so over just just looking from from this side as well um, hopefully it gives you a, a good impression of what we've done um, you'll see some shaping to the roof there because of the apex which is quite an attractive feature we've got uh, the TV on the wall there with a little uh, table below and then let me take you off to the side here uh, where we put a new uh, WC in there so nothing amazing to see but um, this was relocated of course from the front of the house and then of course into the Lego room in here which I've done another video on so you can uh, look up that um, video and uh, look at the the room in a little bit more detail I'm not going to show you around too much in here today because it's a, a little bit of a mess and really this is just to give you an overview of um, the finished product and what it's what it's like and uh, really what the the finish is, is like as much as anything so still left quite a bit of space at the back of the house here for well just to give it that spacious feel around these doors in particular so let's take a look in the annex side if I just open the door here you'll see that this leads in 
to the uh, living area in the annex. Over to the side here we've got uh, access to the rear of the property and a side window. It's quite bright today so we've got the blinds down there and you see that we've got the uh, room set out with a sofa, TV etc and you'll notice that it's all open plan there right back into the kitchen area uh, where the kitchen is exactly the same as the the larger kitchen in the other area it's a nice little uh, kitchen area with the granite uh, worktops just the same as, uh, as the larger one small dining table area an open plan right back to uh, the bedroom area and on the left here we've got just put that light on we've got a nice uh, ensuite in there for uh, mother in law quite a nice big shower area and a uh, little difficult without a sort of wide angle uh, lens on the camera but uh, hopefully you get the idea of the ensuite there it's uh, bigger than it might look on on camera it's a nice enough area to to get in and sort of you know stand around and and get access to the shower quite easily so just coming out of there that takes us into the bedroom area and if you step back you'll see that bedroom in here is all fitted out uh, reasonably big nice window here and the nice uh, fitted wardrobes in there which uh, slide open and there's lots of nicely fitted uh, shelving in there and sort of pull down areas for uh, clothes etc there's a dressing table and uh, what have you here so just going back in the other direction again you'll see how it's all open plan so quite quite a nice open space and uh, definitely large enough I think uh, for just a one person um, uh, my mother-in-law actually uh, really loves the the space and really feels quite at home it's nice and light and airy and I don't think the the sun is going to allow me to show you that up there there's a Felix window I think it's just overexposed so we can't probably see that so again nice open plan area in uh, in the annex here inside looking pretty good now so uh, that's it that's the finished product I think it's been pretty worthwhile in my opinion I'm not sure my wife would say the same thing if you asked her but uh, in in terms of just um, how grueling the whole thing was from start to finish but um, it's really left us with quite a nice space so I'm really happy with it so there you go, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, that will conclude this uh, series of building the Lego room and the house extension and uh, on to the next project, that's it, bye for now.